Falcon Nine's in startup. Dragon is in countdown. So there are a couple great callouts. Both stages are now pressurizing for launch. Uh, range remains go. The weather did clear earlier and has remained green. Um, so all things all Falcon systems. Falcon Nine, CRS twenty four, go for launch. That's the launch director calling go for launch. We'll get an all systems go here in just a few seconds, and then we'll listen into the rest of the count. T minus thirty seconds. T minus fifteen seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition. Lift off. Cargo Dragon soars with the final supply run in 2021 for the astronauts aboard the International Space Station. Stage one chamber pressure is nominal. T plus forty seconds into flight. Falcon 9 and Dragon Power have been power. Nominal. You can see him passing through the cloud layers right now. Next up, uh, in just a few seconds here, is Max Q. This is where the vehicle will experience the highest amount of aerodynamic pressures. Falcon 9 is supersonic. Through that period of high pressure on the vehicle, the engines on the first stage are now throttling back up as we continue to make our journey to orbit. Coming up in about a minute are three events in rapid succession. Uh, first up is main engine cutoff, also known as MECO, the engine chill followed started. by stage separation, and then second engine start, also known as SES-1. Main engine cutoff is where all nine engines on the first stage will shut off in preparation for the second event, stage separation. Uh, during stage separation, the first and second stages will yeah, separate from one another. The first entry. stage makes its way back to the drone ship for a landing attempt, and the second stage will ignite its Merlin vacuum engine and continue to boost Dragon to low Earth orbit. Again, those are gonna be happening in rapid succession in about 15 seconds here. Nico. State separation confirmed. In vac ignition. You heard the call outs, we see it on screen. Successful main engine cutoff, followed by successful stage separation and then ignition of our Merlin vacuum engine. On the left-hand side of the screen, the first stage, again, it's making its way back to Earth, but it's still being illuminated by the second stage Merlin vacuum engine there. So if you are just joining us, you're watching a live webcast for the 24th commercial resupply mission to the International Space Station for NASA. This is SpaceX's 31st mission for 2021 and the fifth Dragon flight to the International Space Station this year. A couple of views on the screen. The right-hand side of your screen trajectory. is a view of the Merlin vacuum engine uh, on the second stage. The Dragon capsule uh, uh, carrying all of the wonderful uh, holiday treats and science is on the opposite end of that engine. Again, that is continuing to run smoothly as it makes its way to orbit. On the left-hand side of the screen is the first stage. You'll notice some 
uh, honeycomb-like structures. There's two of them on screen right now. Those are our um, uh, hypersonic grid fins. They're positioned at the top of the first stage booster. There are four of them, actually. Uh, and those will start to um, uh, swivel and move around to make sure that they are guiding the first stage back uh, to its targeted landing zone. Uh, for, for today's mission, it's going to be the drone ship Just Read the Instruction, which is parked in the Atlantic Ocean. Next event for our mission today is going to be the first stage entry burn. It's going to be the first of two burns in order to make its way back to our drone ship. Um, the first stage has to execute these two burns. The first, again, is the entry burn where three of our Merlin engines will reignite. This helps to slow the stage down as it re-enters the upper parts of the Earth's atmosphere. The second burn is the landing burn. This happens about a minute later. Um, this is a single engine burn that will bring the vehicle speed down rapidly in order to land on the drone ship. So again, the first stage has two burns before it can make uh, its first landing attempt uh, on our drone ship. As we wait for that event, uh, you might be interested to know that in order to get into space, the rocket actually has to do more than go up. It actually has to go sideways really, really fast. Uh, at liftoff, gravity is pulling straight down on the rocket. And as we ascend, we tilt the engines, a, a term called gimbling, and that turns the rocket horizontally. So we're still going up, but we're also heading horizontally away from the launch pad uh, in what we call a gravity turn. Stage one FTS is safe. Think things continue to go smoothly for both the first and second stages. Again, the first stage entry burn to follow nominal trajectory. should start in about 10 seconds. Stage one entry burn is in startup. And there it is, three Merlin, act, uh, Merlin engines have reignited their uh, engines and are now currently slowing down the first stage. This burn is expected to last about 30 seconds. And you can see the velocity on the bottom left-hand side of the screen, we're starting to decrease significantly. Stage one, engine burn shut down. So great news, uh, that is burn one of two complete. Uh, the Falcon 9 first stage is also equipped with four landing legs made of state-of-the-art carbon fiber with aluminum honeycomb. Uh, they're placed around the base of the rocket and deployed just prior to landing. So we are about 60 seconds away from landing the vehicle and we're traveling um, a significant velocity right now, and this really puts into perspective the deceleration that the first stage will experience. Um, in less than the span of a minute, we'll reduce from twice the speed of a jet all the way down to zero as the rocket lands. H1 is transonic. The first stage landing burn is expected to start here in about 20 seconds. Uh, and last for about 25 seconds. So during the duration of that burn, we are going to be listening for the call out for SECO, which stands for second engine cutoff. Uh, the Merlin vacuum engine that you see on screen, we're going to be shutting off that engine and then listening for another call out um, for a confirmation of good orbit stage where the second stage burn. will coast for a few minutes before separating Dragon. Stage two FTS is safe. We don't have views of the first stage right now. Oh, we looks like we got it back. And the landing burn uh, stage one is landing currently deploy. underway. Invex shut down. Stage one landing is confirmed. So uh, hopefully we get some visuals. Uh, there it is. 
So this is the first landing for this particular booster, but the 100th successful landing for an orbital class rocket. Uh, what a way to end off the year. Uh, we also heard that the uh, second engine, uh, sorry, the second stage engine, the Merlin vacuum engine, successfully shut off its engine. And uh, we're going to pause here to see if we can confirm a good orbit of the second stage. Expected loss of signal, Cape. Acquisition signal, Newfoundland. Again, this is a view of the Merlin vacuum engine. The Dragon capsule with all of its supplies is on the opposite end of that uh, engine. And I am getting confirmation that we do indeed have a good orbit. So the second stage is going to be coasting for a few minutes here. This is a view uh, uh, of the unpressurized cargo section of the Dragon. Um, so the second stage right now is making some small adjustments uh, during the coast phase prior to separation. We should also have video of Dragon separating from the top of the second stage itself. Should give us a nice view of that, um, the view we just saw of the unpressurized cargo section as Dragon uh, will slowly depart away from the second stage. Dragon is gonna be joining the Crew-3 vehicle Endurance that is currently attached to the International Space Station and on orbit, and as always, it's Always exciting to see two dragons docked at the space station at the same time. Speaking of cargo, uh, today we'll be delivering, uh, as part of today's mission, we'll be delivering more than 6,500 pounds of science, research, crew supplies, and vehicle hardware to the orbiting lab and its crew. This includes all the science and supplies and holiday treats that we talked about earlier in the broadcast. And I'm sure the crew is looking forward to that. We're just under a minute for Dragon to separate from the top of the second stage. Again, this is a cargo mission, so there are no, there is no crew aboard the Dragon uh, as part of today's mission. And in fact, we uh, will modify the vehicles um, slightly for these types of missions. So uh, there are no seats, there are no life support systems. This saves. Uh, weight. It also frees up some space for more cargo, and it also allows us to refurbish the Dragon a little bit quicker once it uh, splashes back down uh, to Earth uh, in about a month. Expected loss of signal, Bermuda. So we Stage separation dragon confirmed. Any or second dragon now. separation confirmed. And there it goes. Uh, again, this camera view is on the second stage, looking at the Dragon's unpressurized cargo section. The Dragon has about uh, a day before it makes its way and uh, to the International Space Station and docks. Uh, coming up is nose cone opening sequence. But that is going to do it for me here in Hawthorne. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hand it over to Shaniqua in Houston for the next mission milestones.